Good morning, everyone. This liturgy is being offered for Sister Patricia Ambrose. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies of your kindness, your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus the Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. <laughs> A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the holy ones and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love that you have for all the holy ones because of the hope reserved for you in heaven. Of this you have already heard through the word of truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as in the whole world it is bearing fruit and growing, so also among you. From the day you heard it and came to know the grace of God and truth, as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow slave, who is a trustworthy minister of Christ on your behalf, and who also told us of your love in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I trust in the mercy of God forever. Trust in the mercy of God forever. I, like a green olive tree in the house of God, Trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I trust, trust in the mercy, in the mercy of, God of God forever. I will thank you always for what you have done and proclaim the goodness of your name before your faithful ones. I trust, I trust in, in the mercy, mercy of God, God forever. forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, be my mind, I'm sorry, I'm going to ask for peace and faith. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring rare tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to the captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon, Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who, all who had people sick 
with various diseases, brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues in Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is uh, a day for a world day of prayer for the care of creation, which uh, Pope Francis asks us to uh, uh, center our attentions on. But just first, the uh, the first reading from uh, Paul to the Colossians, um, you might notice that he gives his uh, credentials. And that was not always true in the, in the first, uh, uh, certainly in terms of uh, the Thessalonians, uh, but because there was uh, trouble uh, after Paul would preach to a community, another group would come behind come after him and try to rebuke what Paul said, so he started giving his credentials uh, that he certainly was legitimate. Just a little fact. Um, We have in the gospel passages that of Jesus healing. And I think it's important in terms of as we concentrate on a world day of prayer for the care of creation, that we have been called and chosen to be the stewards of creation, to cure the ills that, for the most part, that we've created. And certainly in terms of, you know, when Jesus cured people, when the apostles did, there was great joy of thanking God for that gift of uh, healing and certainly of the, the person who was ill, joy that their suffering had ended. And so for our part, we have to look around in terms of what we have done and or our ancestors have done and try to make our world that much better that we can give to the next generation and the generation after that a better place than what we have found or what we have created ourselves. And one simple thing in terms of waste management, how many of us are recycling to make our world just that much better? So I ask you to reflect on how you are, how I am doing as a steward of our planet. Of, our, of the creation that God has given us, that we can stand and facing our God, saying, I have tried to make an, a, a significant difference in making our world better. My brothers and sisters, let us ask our Heavenly Father to hear our prayers of need, not just for ourselves, but for all our brothers and sisters. For our holy shepherds, that they may take time to be by themselves in prayer, as Jesus did, receiving the guidance they need in their ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that Jesus may cast out every demon that works against a culture of life, enlightening our national and world leaders to see the dignity of every human being. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For missionaries, that they may carry the word of truth with joy and courage, making it grow and bear fruit in the whole world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Peter, we may intercede with Jesus for those who are sick or in need of any kind of healing, drawing out his mercy and his power. We especially pray for Georgian Bilodeau, Britt O'Brien, and those mentioned in our prayer list and our book of intentions. For the cause of Jean-Claude Collin, founder of the Maris for Sainthood, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the hope reserved for us in heaven, which inspires our faith and our love, may become a blessed reality for those who have gone before us, marked with the cross of Jesus, also, pre please pray for the souls of Gretchen Gunning and James Nolan, father of Amy Aldrich. May they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for more vocations to religious life and priesthood, especially in the Society of Mary, our USA province, and our Maris family, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for, certainly, the care of creation that we are stewards of, that indeed we will make our planet that much better, we pray to the Lord. And for all the intentions that remain in our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Also pray for the fires that continue in, in, in the West and uh, for all the people uh, in Afghanistan uh, that indeed mercy uh, will, be, uh, will come upon them, uh, that there will be no more punishment or senseless killing, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask you to grant them in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. By this mystery in water and wine, may we share in your divinity as you humbled yourself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Accept, O Lord, uh, the sacred offerings 
which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love. And grant, this, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands, through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praise adds nothing to your greatness, but profits us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, pronounced the blessing and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory John, our Archbishop, Bernard and Joel, our auxiliary bishops, and all the bishops, clergy, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist, his herald, with the Apostles, the martyr St. Peter Chanel, Pope Pius X, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, disciples, friends, you say to each and every one of us, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be upon you always. And let us offer to each other some sign of Christ's saving and loving peace. Lamb of God. In the name of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, Behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you, through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace.